Okay, I don't know if y'all hear that noise. I hope y'all can't. I don't know what it is. So I'm just gonna try to talk over it. Hey y'all, welcome back to Mama Loves Manga. I decided to hop on here and give y'all a little haul. You know, it's been a little bit since I've done a haul. So I have um, a little stack, you know, not, not a large stack, a little stack. So on the top I have a volume that was sent to me by my friends at Viz. I will be working on a little project with them coming soon. And that is the first volume of Love Me, Love Be, bleh, Love Me, Love Me Not by Iyo Saki Saka. This is the same mangaka that has done um, Ayo Haru Ride and um, Strobe Edge, two series that I have not read. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. So, moving on, I have volume one of Scarlet by Chidi Yuino. Yuino. Um, this is, <laughs> this is a Yuri. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna do like a first impressions of this. Next, I have volume one of A Man and His Cat by Umi Sakurai. Um, funny story about this. So I had this sitting on my desk. Um, or on my shelves, and my husband walked by and he was like, what is that? Is that some kind of like weird porn? <laughs> I mean, and the thing is, is you never know with me. A kitten languishes in a pet shop, unwanted and unloved. Even as his price drops with each passing day, no one spares him a glance, unless it's to call him names. Having practically given up on life, the kitty himself is most shocked of all when an older gentleman comes into the store and wants to take him home. Will the man and the cat find what they're looking for in each other? Oh, it just, ah, uh, it just, ah, uh, it's so, it just seems so cute. I, I love the way the cover is. I love the color of the cover. I think this is gonna be precious. I am very excited about this. Also, he is a very good looking older man. You know, I'm just, I think this is gonna be great. Look at the fat kitty, look at it, look at it. Next, I have volume one of Androgynous Boyfriend. This is by Tamek Ko. Um, obviously, I have this. I've been talking about my excitement for this on Twitter since I found out about it. Next up, I have volumes one, two, and three of Twittering Birds Never Fly. So um, it hasn't arrived yet, but I also ordered volumes uh, four, five, and six in Espanol. Um, it should actually be here soon. It, I'm pretty sure I got a notification that it should be here this week. Um, because yeah, I really wanted to be able to read more of this. I have not read this yet, but people keep telling me that this is great. I've heard great things from G, I've heard great things from Dylan, I've heard just anyone who has read this. My, uh, my friend Amanda also has told me that this is great. Um, so I definitely want to read this soon um and i definitely wanted to read more because i knew that i was going to want to and because i can read in spanish i uh, figured i might as well buy the rest of it in spanish so uh, that will be showing up soon unfortunately it did not make it here in time for me to talk about it in this video but that's okay because when i read this and i do a review on it i'll talk about it then um, it'll probably take me a little bit longer to read it in Spanish because I am a little bit rusty. So I'll have to, you know, read slowly and do some translating and all that jazz, but whatever. But anyways, very excited about this. I'm going to read the back of the first volume just in case y'all don't know anything about this. Yashiro is the young leader of Shinseikai and the president of the Shinsei Enterprise. But like so many powerful men, he leads a double life as a deviant and a masochist. Hmm. 
Chikara Domeki comes to work as a bodyguard for him, and although Yashiro had decided that he would never lay a hand on his own men, he finds there's something about Domeki that he can't resist. Yashiro makes advances toward Domeki, but Domeki has mysterious reasons for denying. Yashiro, who abuses his power just to abuse himself, and Domeki, who faithfully obeys his every command, begin the tumultuous affair of two men with songs in their hearts, but no wings to fly. It sounds messy, and I'm here for it. I cannot wait to read it. I cannot wait to read it. <laughs> Next, I have The Cart on the Chopping Block Jumps Twice. This is by Setona Mizu Mizushido, and this is the sequel to the... Um, what is it? I always, these, the cornered mouse dreams of cheese. These titles are kind of ridiculous, but <laughs> next I have Helter Skelter by Kyoko Okazaki. This is the same mangaka behind the title Pink. Um, and I have realized that I kind of have an affinity for that era. Um, my friend Ray, Whimsical Pictures, said that it's called like the Gal era. Um, uh, and it's, just it's a certain feel a certain type of manga it's a very like the style is very i mean it's this sort like this sort of art style kind of sketch like and like almost fashion inspired it's just kind of wonky and weird and i love it um these stories tend to feature main characters who are just, you know, a mess. It's sort of in the similar vein as, um, what you call it, as Happy Mania, like that type of stuff, just like messiness, um, you know, character, like female characters who just don't give a damn, just stuff like that. So I'll read the back of this so you can see what this actual story is about. After cutting edge, full body plastic surgery, supermodel Liliko's career is white hot. But as her body begins to break down, she grows desperate and unhinged, lashing out as she realizes her expiration date as a product of pop culture is dangerously close. A surreal examination of the human cost of fame and the ugly side of glossy celebrity cultures, Helter Skelter won the 2004 Osamu Tezuka Culture Prize and has been adapted into a film directed by Mika Ninagawa. So um, I'm very, very excited to read this. I have a feeling that it's going to be grotesque and wonderful and I cannot, I'm actually, I may even sit down to read this today but just like, even look at this. Like, I'm already just. Anyway, I'm very intrigued. I can't wait to read that. Next, I have um, Tableau Numero uh, 20. <laughs> 20. <laughs> anyway, so this is a very. Let me take off this um, plastic. Hold on. Excuse me. This is a BL. I'm going to read the back of the book because this is very interesting. Ten years ago, while still a student, Maurice stumbled across an illustration in an artist's sketchbook that instantly captivated him. A drawing of a beautiful youth with sad, gentle eyes, an expression that spoke of love and forgiveness. Now settled into a successful career as an art restoration expert, Maurice is shocked by the sudden appearance of a young man who looks exactly like the one in the drawing. Who, in fact, insists that he is the one in the drawing. A collection of short stories by the incomparable Est M. Oh, that's the name of the mangaka. <laughs> I was like, what's that? Right, stuff was having a sale on like BL, so... Next, I have Night S by Ko Yoneda. I picked this up because G talked about it and said that she really enjoys this. I think Dylan also has read this and said that he enjoyed it. Um, this is a collection of like short stories. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh, there goes my batteries. Oh, I wasn't recording. <laughs> Uh, I'm 
I'm so sad. <laughs> All right, so I'll read the back of this. A collection of masterful, sensual stories by popular yaoi creator Ko Yoneta. In the title story, Masato Kadashima is a transporter, a man paid to smuggle anything from guns to drugs to people. When he's hired by Yakuza gang member Masaki Hozumi, he finds himself attracted to the older man. And what starts out as a business transaction quickly spirals into a cat and mouse game of lust and deception. In Emotion Spectrum, a high school student tries to be a good wingman for a classmate with an unexpected result, while Reply is told from the alternating perspectives of an emotionally reserved salesman and the shy mechanic who's in love with him. So, y'all know I love anthologies and I also really love like Yakuza stories, so I'm really excited about this one. <laughs> Next I have volumes one and two of Love and Limbo. This is a completed series, and this is one that I've heard a lot of people saying really great things about it, so I knew that I wanted to pick it up, especially knowing that it's only two volumes. So I'll read the back of the first volume. Kaylin, who has no memory beyond being a soldier, begins his new life in limbo with a caretaker named Makoto. To atone for his sins, Kalen has been given the powers of a reaper and tasked with guiding and protecting the souls of the dead. As he works alongside the pure-hearted Makoto, Kalen begins to develop feelings for him. But will those feelings change once he learns Makoto's true nature? Ooh, what's his true nature? I want to know. Ooh, I can't wait to read it. Hey. <laughs> Next, I have volumes one and two of Coyote. This is by Ranmaru Zadia. If y'all have watched um, one of my Thirsty Thursdays, I talked about a one-shot by the same mangaka called Liquor and Cigarettes, and I loved it, and I decided that I wanted to read more of their works. Um, people have told me that this is still great, though it is weird, I guess. Like they said that there's some weirdness in it. I'm fine with weirdness. And I'm also not really sure how many volume. I don't think that this is the final volume. I'm not fully sure about that. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, I just, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure if, if it's a two volume series or not. I didn't look into that, but I will read the back of the first volume. In order to conceal that he's a werewolf, Coyote avoids getting too involved with humans. But Marlene, a pianist at a bar he frequents, is interested in him and just won't take no for an answer. When Coyote unexpectedly goes into heat for the first time, Marlene catches him while he's unable to maintain his human form and offers up a tempting invitation. Coyote wants to resist, but can he? Oh, so, okay. Okay, um, okay. And finally, I have volume three of Skull Face Bookseller Honda-san by Honda. This is a series that a lot of people know about. It's a really cute, really fun series about a person <laughs> who works in a bookstore and um, they're just shenanigans, you know, what they go through and you meet different people and different, you know, manga fans and comic fans and things like that. I've only read the first volume because I'm sort of waiting for more to come in so that I could sit down and binge read it because, you know, I'd be, I'd be forgetting details, but this is one that I really enjoy and I recommend, so yeah, okay. And that's it. Sit down and read your manga. <laughs> Bye.